Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Bendix. So we're going to talk a little bit about air disc brake and uh, maintenance and inspection. So uh, we're going to get started here. So this is an air disc brake, all right, caliper and rotor. So the thing about our air disc brake is there's no grease fittings, right? So we're not greasing them. You can't measure brake stroke because the chamber is attached to the caliper and it's internal, all right? So what you can do is you can look at the caliper, make sure that the caliper moves in and out. That's a key point of this, right? Like any other caliper, if it doesn't free float and it hangs up, it's not gonna work properly. So that's part of your maintenance, is the movement of the caliper. The other part is you're looking at the rotors, making sure that the rotor is in good shape. There's no cracks or damage to the rotor. On our rotor, there's a uh, chamfer on the rotor, and that chamfer is a wear indicator. So if that chamfer is wore out, so is the rotor, okay? The other thing too, if you look over on this side, you can see we have two white marks. Cast it in the carrier on both sides, carrier and caliper are hash marks that are casted in there. When the, as the pads and rotor wear, the caliper slides inboard, and when the marks line up, time to do a brake inspection, wheel off brake inspection. Usually the pads are wore out at that point. So that's your inspection. The other thing you're looking for is like loose mounting bolts, missing parts, leaky air chambers, that type of stuff during your PM. Okay, so you're not greasing anything, you're not checking any brake strokes with this. So during your PM, when you go to check your caliper movement, you'll grab in this area here, and you'll check the in and out movement of the caliper. Okay, so you move it back and forth. It's very slight. It's 24 to 43 thousandths. That's the gap between the pad and the tappets or the uh, pistons. All right, it's like the free play on a drum brake. Right, free play is 3 eighths to 5 eighths. This is 24 to 43 thousandths. Very light, but you'll hear it click as you move it back and forth. So you gotta make sure that you pull in, push in and pull out, in and out. If you raise up and down and you have movement, it's your guide pins. Guide pins are loose, okay? So if you're raising up and down like this, guide pins are loose. So you gotta make sure that you move in and out. This may be a test you wanna run, but usually if you move it out, you'll be able to feel it if it's moving up and down. So if the guide pins are wore out or the bushings are wore out, you either replace them or you buy a new caliper assembly. Okay, so once you go ahead and you make sure that everything's all good, chamber's all good and everything, so that's your PM. So if you look internal here, when you look inside, you can see in here, and if you see a pad where it differential, inboard to outboard, what do you suppose your problem is? If you got an inboard pad that's wearing out, outboard pad's not moving at all. It's not gliding, you are correct. Guide pins are seizing up, it's just like your car, just weighs 100 pounds more. Okay, so once you go ahead and pull the wheels all off, you want to do some kind of other inspection, you take a pair of pliers, you pull your spring clip off, and your washer. Okay, push down on your pad retaining bar, pull your pad retaining pin and pad retaining bar. Now when you do a brake job, all this stuff comes new in a kit. So once you went ahead and done that, on the back side, and I know you guys can't see it, but on the back side, we have a cap. We also have what we call a shear adapter. This is what we adjust the brake with. It's called a shear adapter because it's made to fail if you over torque the adjuster mechanism. If you fail that, you can buy a new one and put it back on. All right, we do that for the fact is, is that we want you to break this and not the adjuster mechanism. So just like a slack adjuster, when you back them up, it clicks. When you Turn it out and adjust it out, it's quiet, right? So as you back it up, it's counterclockwise or goes backwards, you'll hear it click. As we back it up, the tappets will retract in. Once we do that, then we can go ahead and pull the pads out. So here's one pad. Push the caliper inboard because we're hanging down. Pull the other pad out. Now we've got both pads out. These pads are needed to be replaced, that's when we'd have our new ones. So before we'd put the pads back in, we would check caliper movement to make sure it slides freely. We'd also push the caliper all the way inboard and look into here, we want to take a look at the guide pin boots. And I don't know if you can see it up on the screen or not, Jim's pretty good about picking that up. So the guide pin boots are here, we want to look at them, make sure they're not damaged, all right? As you pull in on it, you can see them collapse down, they'll suck down on themselves. 
All right, so that means you got a good seal. So there's no leak in the, in the guide pin boots. The other thing you're gonna look at would be the tappet or the pistons. So if you got the pistons and they're adjusted out, there's rubber boots in here. You would also check this movement on the pistons. All right, if that's seized up, you probably got a tear in the boot because contamination's gotten in there and seized that connection. Okay, so we've just done a brake inspection and pad removal. I don't know if you can see this chamfer better now that the pads are out. When that chamfer's wore out, so is your rotor. Okay, so once we've done all this, now we're good to go. So we got to retract our tappets, right? Because we got to get them back in in order to put our pads back in. So as we back them up, you can see them retracting back into the caliper housing, and you get to a point where you can't turn anymore. You always have one guy or two that likes to pull on it a little bit more. That's when you shear that adapter. All right. So again, it's an easy thing to fix. You just take the broken parts off, put new ones on. So then we go ahead and we take our new pads, all right, and we drop them in. Okay. Take our other new pad and we drop them in. So everything I've touched so far comes new in the kit. New caps, new clips, new washers, new pad retaining bar, pins, shear adapters, pads, spring, spring uh, pads. Everything comes new in a kit. And that kit comes enough to do two wheel ends or one complete axle. Take our new pad retaining bar, put it in place. Take our new pin. Push down on the pad retaining bar. Take our new washer, new spring clip. Put your washer on first, because that's a cushion, so if that pin starts sliding in, you don't damage the spring clip. Put your spring clip in, it clicks. If you got a good solid click, it's good to go. Take your adjusting tool, 10 millimeter wrench, okay? Adjust them out until they make contact to the rotor. Done, that's it, you don't have to go any farther. Then we back them off, three audible clicks. So you go and listen, one, two, three. Take your new rubber cap, put it in position, it clicks on, all right, it's locked on like this. You've just done a brake job and an inspection, short of taking the tires off. The tires is the hardest part about this whole thing, okay? So again, as we go through this, we just go back through, all right? We physically look at the pads underneath the wheels. You can look at them. Sometimes you may have to take an inspection mirror, always shine a light up in there. You want to look at your hash marks, all right? The casting marks in the, in the housing and the carrier. Once, if they're lined up, it's going to be another reason why you want to go and pull the wheels off. Looking in here, if you got pad differential inboard to outboard, probably want to take the wheels off, take a look. You want to check caliper movement, right? In and out. It's hard to do because this thing is locked in. All right? That's what you're going to hear. In and out. As long as it does that, you're good to go. Nice thing about this is if you have my tractors and trailers, same pads. The adjustment's the same. The caliper movement's the same. Everything's the same. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.